So we are here at the gymnastics club and I'm joined by a mother and daughter duo who have been affected and we want to hear what's going on with some of the gymnasts in the North Peace region that are affected by the fire that happened. When we look back on the day that the fire happened, how did you find out and what was your reaction? Actually, I was out of town on that day and um, I was having supper when a Facebook message came across. I was checking them and saw that this, this can't be happening, this can't be real. And sadly, yeah, I had a ton of messages coming through saying, have you heard, have you heard? And so my first instinct was to call my daughter. I knew this would hit hard, as this has been her second home for the last nine years of her life. And uh, yeah, we, we got in touch with each other by phone and I had to break the news to her, so. And what was your reaction when your mom called you? I was really upset. We had to have, uh, paper saying like here's some workouts to do but now I feel like now that I don't have a gym I'm getting rusty so I'm trying to do as many things I can do as on the grass or in my home but I can't really tumble or I can't go on the bars. <laughs> Your neighbors will be wondering what's going on back there. Yeah. <laughs> My teammates were all talking to each other saying, oh my God, what can we do? Can we make a fundraiser? Can, what can we do? So, so there has been talk about that. Have you guys come up with anything? We're planning on it. What have you heard um, is happening and, and what are you going to do so McKenna can still practice and keep her game up? Well, at this point right now, it is still pretty quiet as to what what's going to actually happen. I know they have been working with the city. Um, of course, the insurance is the, uh, is the biggest issue right now, knowing what's going to be covered. Where can we go? You know, we're hoping and we're praying that with um, the community support that we'll find something that will be, you know, good for, for, for our girls and the trampolinists and so forth. However, at this point in time, yeah, it's, it's kind of tricky. Thankfully, the um, the coaches have given all of the girls workouts to do over the course of the summer so that when they come back in September they're not too rusty. But unfortunately those, those workouts aren't going to necessarily prepare them for their upcoming competitive season. Most competitions are start in January in the new year so this is kind of a pinnacle period right now for training especially September through to January. It's this is the crunch time. It's, it's crunch, that's right. So we're working on you know perfecting those uh, skills as much as they possibly can before we go off because it just competition after competition which are all down south. We're hoping and we're praying that something comes up so either they repair our gym or we find a new home. Ms. McKenna is a competitive gymnast. How often were you actually in the gym before when you are training to compete? Every day after school. I would go there for about four to five hours. So, so this affects you guys greatly? Huge. Oh, absolutely. She trains on an average of 15 to 20 hours a week. Her life is school and gymnastics, and we can't say enough how sad we are because we are just one of many families who are affected by this, and we're very saddened by this. You've been doing this for nine years. Is this something that you want to do even professionally or be a coach one day, or tell me where you want to take this in the future? My next step is we me and my coach have been talking about being a CIT and that is a coach in training and I might be helping the CITs or I might even become one. I'm gonna keep going, keep pushing, so. <laughs>